YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who this is, that is Vincent and she is up there. She's going to be doing things so you can watch her and hopefully she won't make too much noise and if she does, hopefully I will catch it and be able to edit it out. All right, I am coming to you today with a tag. It is called the Crushing on Myself tag. This was started by, I'm sorry for looking down and looking at my notes here was started by the Style Synonym, and I was tagged by Grace in her handbag, who was tagged by Chic Professor. So I have watched all three of those videos so far, the Style Synonym, Chic Professor, and Grace in her handbag. I'll link all of those below, and I'll also link all the questions so you can do this tag video if you would like to. So the purpose of this video is it's supposed to promote positive body image. Um, I'm probably going to take a little different route with it, because I want to talk about body image and women and how uh, what my experience has been with that. So um, I go through these questions and I'll start talking about it. So question one, what is your favorite physical feature and how do you showcase it? So growing up as a female in the United States, I don't know so much about other countries, but it has been my experience that there are always images thrown at you. You're always supposed to look a certain way. And I have never, I'm trying to stay over where you can see Vincent. I have never looked the way that magazines and whatever, you know, commercials, whatever, tell me I'm supposed to look. I have not looked the way that um, clothing stores that are, that are suited for teenagers, like when I was a kid, I, I've not look the way that I was supposed to look to fit into the clothes at the Gap or at 579, remember that store? Or um, what are some of the other ones, the Limited. I've never been able to shop at those places. They were also too expensive for me when I was a child. We were dirt poor, um, so I, I never had anything from those places. I remember one time I had a Gap shirt. I always go off on these tangents, don't I? I had a Gap shirt from the clearance rack that was maybe 10 bucks or something. It was orange. Um, not very flattering. But yeah, so I've never been able to shop at those places. I have most of my life hated shopping for clothes because I never fit in things. I never thought I looked good in things. They were never cut right. Um, or I, actually, that's not what I thought. I never thought the clothes weren't cut right. I thought the clothes, you're supposed to fit in those. It's me that's the problem. Um, I've always been overweight. Um, if you look at pictures of me when I was a kid, I've always, always been overweight. Um, some of that is genetics and some of it, more of it than genetics probably, is um, eating habits and stuff. And when I say that some of it is genetics, I'm not trying for that to be a cop-out. I'm not trying to like say that some of it is uh, not my fault, that I can eat whatever and, and it doesn't matter because of genetics. Not at all. Um, it's just that even if I did, I'm trying to make sure she doesn't chew on my book too. You're not going to chew on my book, right? You're not going to chew on my book. You better not. Um, so even if I was to eat the healthiest things and exercise and all this and be the thinnest I could be and the best shape I could be in, I still would not fit that model of what you're supposed to look like the the certain shape and the certain height and all this stuff it just wasn't me and partly because of that and my my disappointment every time i went into a dressing room in a store my self-disgust every time i went into a dressing room didn't look good in anything um i think that's part of the reason i've never really been into fashion because I just never felt good about it. And I always felt like the girls around me looked so great and I always wanted to look like them, but I will never look like them. I never have, I never will. Um, so for the longest time through my mid twenties or so, I've always had a very negative body image. Um, even today you can name pretty much any part of my body and I can tell you something I don't like about it. And it's gotten better though. Um, when I was in, and I, I know I'm not getting to the tag yet. I want to kind of tell you the backstory and get that out of the way. So, and I'm doing this, let me say this too. I'm doing this because I know so many other people deal with it. And so I think that 
there are going to be a lot of people who can relate and a lot of people who can comment below and tell me their stories or talk to each other or whatever. Um, you know, this is just something everybody deals with. And, and we know we've heard from people, even the people that you think are the most gorgeous and fit that image of what you're supposed to look like, they have body image issues too. So it's just one of the bad things in our culture about women. And I guess men too, but I don't know so much from the men's perspective. Um, so where was I? Not into fashion, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember now where I left off. Okay, well, let me get into the tag. Oh, 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 that's what I was doing, saying why I was doing this. So part of this, too, is that if there are people watching who have a similar story, maybe you can relate and maybe some of this will make you feel better, even though so far, probably not. Um, and then I know that I have some of my students that watch my channel. Um, and so if any of them are watching, and then you can know I teach middle school, and that's around the age where you really start becoming aware of that and self-aware and you start developing that really negative body image and getting down on yourself and feeling bad about yourself. And just know that everybody is going through that. It is not just you. Um, yeah, and, and hopefully you'll get to a place soon enough where you'll be over that. So what I was gonna say is in my mid 20s or so, I lost a bunch of weight, but it wasn't in a healthy way. Um, what happened was I went through a really difficult breakup with my first boyfriend and that sent me spiraling into this very deep depression for quite a few months and I basically starved myself thin, which is not the way to do it. It's not healthy. Um, I was the thinnest I had been as an adult though and uh, I look back at the pictures and this is one of the things too. When I do lose weight, I don't think I look as good. I like myself better when I have some weight on me. I think I'm overweight now for sure. I'm not where I want to be. And we, the boyfriend and I have joined Weight Watchers. We've done that a few times. It has always worked for us if we stick with it. So we joined, we started on January 1st. And I don't like the weight thing being a New Year's resolution because that's something that should be all the time, right? but we both love food. That's one of our joys in life. And the trick this time has been, this is something I wanna share with you and I'll link it below, slenderkitchen.com. It's this meal planning site. They have healthy recipes. They are fantastic. We've been doing it for about three weeks now and we have loved every recipe that we've made. It's all delicious, it's healthy, and they have the Weight Watchers points. And even if you're on a different point system than the one that they're doing now, it has like four different Four or five different point systems listed. Um, so I highly recommend Slender Kitchen and that's fabulous. If you're wondering what she's saying, she's saying ginger. That's my mom's German Shepherd that we put down the weekend before Christmas because she had cancer really bad. Um, and Vincent has been saying ginger's name a lot since then. Um, not sure what that's about. So okay, so I think I said all that I wanted to say right there. So let me get into the tag. I'm already Eight minutes in, classic Autumn Beckman. I can't do a short video. Okay, question number one, which I think I already read, but I didn't answer. What is your favorite physical feature and how do you showcase it? So this tag is very difficult for me to do because it's all about positive body image and I've always dealt with negative body image. So I'm going off another tangent because I just remembered something I'm gonna say. I wanted to say a minute ago. So when I lost all that weight, I, whoa, she just flew back to her house. Pardon? Um, okay, so when I lost all that weight, I finally, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna move back to the middle here, finally for the first time in my life, felt like I was maybe not thin, but at a weight where I felt good about myself and actually had a positive body image. And in the years since then, I have gained quite a bit of weight, um, but for a long time, I didn't lose that mindset because I thought that being overweight would be less unhealthy than being any weight, thin or not, and having the mindset of a, ne <coughs> a negative body image. <laughs> Does that make sense? So the, the mindset, the psychology of it, I found to be more harmful to me than having weight on my body. I thought it was better to be overweight and feel good about myself than to be thin or whatever and feel bad about myself. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
But I'm back to the point now because I got to a weight I'm really not comfortable in and I haven't felt good about how I looked in a while. Um, so I'm back to this weight where I finally had this motivation to lose weight and since my peak weight, I've lost almost 25 pounds. And since we started Weight Watchers in the last three weeks, I've lost 10 of those 25. So I still have quite a long way to go to get to my goal weight. And I don't want to talk numbers because, you know, it's not fun. But yeah. So anyway, I'm going to answer this question and get into the tag now. But I feel like it's important to talk about all that stuff because of the reasons that I said. Okay. So question one, what is your favorite physical feature and how do you showcase it for the third time? Um, so again, it's really hard to answer this. But... I, the, the answer I keep coming back to because I've been thinking about all these for a few days. I think the thing I like the most is that I even, whatever weight I am, I still tend to have an hourglass figure and that's something that I like and I play that up, um, I showcase it like the question says, by wearing things that are tighter on the top and then I'll wear a looser bottom, um, like a skirt or or I'll wear jeans with a little tighter top, something that accentuates my waist and the shape of my torso a little more. <laughs> um, yeah, and at the weight I've been for the last couple of years, that hasn't worked as well because I've got too much around my middle to, uh, to really get, like if you're looking straight on at me, I still have the hourglass, but if you look at the side, it's kind of bumpy and so doesn't work as well. So I've been wearing looser fitting tops like this one. Let me back up a little bit so you can see that better. So this is looser fitting um, here. There you go. Um, apparently I'm sweating in this too. But yeah. But then it has a nice detail like these sleeves. So that's nice. All right. Next question. Oh, and I was going to say on that one too, umpire waists. Um, I love a dress with like a V-cut and an umpire waist. Umpire, right? Not empire, umpire. Um, question two. What is an item you wear that makes you feel very confident? Again, it's so difficult for me to answer these questions because a lot of what my confidence is about doesn't have to do with my appearance or what I'm wearing. Um, so if you're talking about clothes, there's not a lot that makes me feel confident because I feel bad about myself so often. Um, so the answer I came up with for that is I resort to jewelry and a lot of people, well, two of the three people I've watched, so Chic Professor and Grace in her handbag, they both answered that carrying a nice handbag makes them feel confident. And yes, me too, but I wanted to give a different answer because they already said that twice. Um, so what I like to do is wear statement earrings, you know, big giant earrings like these. These I don't usually wear a necklace with, but I'll either wear some really big earrings or I'll wear a big statement necklace. You'll see that in a lot of my videos um, with probably smaller earrings. And those I love wearing. I feel like it brings the attention up here instead of down here and looks nice and makes a statement without me having to fit into certain clothing. Uh, question three, what is a favorite compliment you've gotten about your appearance? This one ties back to question one. So I answered that hourglass figure. I had never really thought about that until I got this compliment that I'm going to tell you about. So this was a friend of mine in grad school. Her name's Elizabeth. And this was after we left grad school. She is from New York. She's still up there. And I moved back to Houston and we were in school together in New York. Um, we were talking a year or two later and we were both talking about how we would gained weight since we saw each other last. And she said, yeah, but you have that hourglass figure. So you always have that nice shape. I had never thought about that. And that she's the one who made me think like that and, and realize that, yeah, I do have that. And that's really nice. So that, one little compliment changed my perspective on myself a little bit and made me feel better about myself overall. So I really appreciated that. Question four, what is something you love to wear that other people don't like? Um, probably comfortable shoes. Although I don't know that other people don't like them. I just feel like it's the societal thing. And, and especially you look at a lot of these 
YouTubers um, that are my favorite YouTubers that I watch all the time that do luxury handbag videos and you look at their Instagrams and they're always showcasing these high heels and big Louboutins and all that. I'm just not a shoe person. I, and as far as fashion in general, you know, there's that statement, whatever it is, that saying about fashion is something like it's about beauty and it's not meant to be comfortable and and you're not fashionable unless you're suffering in what you're wearing. God, I don't, I don't believe that at all. Um, I believe that they're clothes. I believe you can wear fashionable, interesting clothes like this piece that I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, but you don't have to be uncomfortable in your clothes. And I don't wear heels because they're not comfortable. Um, I wear flats. I wear either like ballet flats or I'll wear loafers. And that's what I wear. And I'm totally comfortable with that, even though um, like the loafers look a little grandma-ish maybe. I don't know. My loafers are nice though. They're pretty. Um, the ballet flats look nice. Those are fashionable, but yeah. And then I also wear shoes to death because I'm not a shoe person. I don't enjoy, I don't have a big collection of shoes. I don't like shopping for shoes. I don't feel like I need expensive shoes. Um, for most of my life, I got shoes at Payless and even that I thought was expensive for shoes. Um, and then I'll wear them to death. Like I, I should be embarrassed to show you some of the show, shoes that I have that are just totally worn out and getting holes in them and stuff. But I feel like people don't look down at my feet, so, and it doesn't bother me. Um, okay. And yes, I know I'll probably get comments like, oh, you'd buy a pay less shoes and have holes in them, but you'd buy $2,000 handbags. Yeah, I do, because that's what I like. Um, all right, question five. What fashion faux pas do you commit freely and happily? <sighs> I can tell you that. And... I started feeling kind of ashamed about wearing these because of an episode of Sex in the City. Scrunchies. So I don't have one in front of me, but in the last What's in My Bag, I pulled out like three scrunchies from my purse. And I wear those all the time. I take my hair down for these videos. I sometimes take my hair down at work, but most of the time I've got a scrunchie in my hair. I've got it just pulled back like this, and it's in a low, low thing. You'll see I'm gonna put a picture of it in a minute. And that is because it's comfortable and it's easy. And I also like when I do take it down out of the scrunchie, my hair has this kind of waviness to it. And sometimes you'll see in the videos, it's more wavy than others. And that's because I've had it in the scrunchie all day and I've just taken it down. Um, that is all the styling I do to my hair. I shampoo it. I use an Aveda Shampure um, shampoo and that is all the product I put in my hair. Um, and then I comb it and that's all I do. Nothing else to my hair. Um, I just put it up. When it's down, I think it's prettier when it's down, but it gets in my way. Like here, you see I fidget with it all the time on the videos. I'm always putting it by my ear, moving it. It's because it's in my way. But I want to wear it down because it looks nicer on the videos. Um, so yes, I Sex in the City episode, there was something about they saw some woman wearing a scrunchie. I think it was Samantha maybe that said it, or I don't remember. And they said something about she was obviously an out-of-towner because she had that. She wasn't a New Yorker because New Yorkers would do that. Um, yeah, it's just easy. And I have never, as is clear, never been into makeup, hairstyles. I've said all this on previous videos. I've never even learned basic things like how to do a proper um, ponytail in my hair, which sounds ridiculous and embarrassing, but yeah. So... I have never been able to do that. I mean, I know the concept of combing it all up in there, but it falls down or it leaves little like bumpy lines and stuff. Never been able to do it. So I just do the scrunchie and it's done and it's easy. Question six, what color do you like against your skin? I have been really into this mustard yellow lately. I've got two shirts in this color, but I think that the best color on me, the thing that I love the most and think the most flattering is, think is the most flattering is black. I just love black. Um, sort of stereotypical artist wears black. I wear a lot of other colors. You, you don't see me very often in black in the videos. Usually what I wear in the videos is what I'm wearing that day. Um, but I do love black on me. I like the contrast or that dark color against my very pale skin. And yeah, I, I, I think black is the best color on me. 
Um, question seven, share a photo in which you feel fabulous and tell us why. Oh my gosh, this took so long for me to think of a photo and then I was looking through my photos last night. The problem I kept having was when I found a photo where I remembered feeling fabulous, it had nothing to do with how I looked. Or if I found a photo, it, it had to do with what I was doing at the time. If I found a photo where I thought I looked fabulous, I generally was not feeling fabulous at that time because those were older photos that were with the ex-boyfriend who was emotionally abusive. And so not good times. Um, but I think I looked better then because I was thinner. And so I had a really hard time finding something where the way I'm reading this question is that it's what you're wearing makes you feel fabulous. I couldn't find anything like that. I mean, I didn't look through every f picture that I have, but here's the picture I chose. And the reason I chose this is because I'm totally comfortable, but I feel fabulous because of what I'm doing and where I am. So I'm in my bathrobe. I've got my hair up in a scrunchie. And this is at the Galvestonian Hotel in Galveston, Texas. And I'm leaning over the balcony, taking a picture of the beach, as you can see. And the boyfriend took this picture of me, the current boyfriend. This was our one year anniversary. We went down there for a weekend. So I feel fabulous in this picture because I'm comfortable and I'm doing something I enjoy, which is photography. And I'm in a beautiful place and I'm with the man that I love who treats me wonderfully. And yeah, that is the picture I chose for the picture that I feel fabulous. And that is why I feel fabulous. All right, that brings me to the end of the tag. I do wanna tag some other people. I'm gonna tag Louis Vuitton coffee lover. I love her sense of style. She's really edgy, so I'd love to see what she says. Lily LV, hi Lisa, um, you would be great at this too. You have an edgier style than I have also, and I would love to see what you say. Leo Lion LV also has an edgier style. <laughs> I love people with edgier styles, um, clearly. Foxy LV, same thing. Wendy's Loving Life. Now she's not doing a lot of videos lately, so I don't know if she would be interested in doing this one, but I'm gonna tag her because I love her and she loves, she has a great sense of style. She's more classic. Um, so I think she, and she's very positive too. So I think this is the perfect tag for her. Model Chick NY, I would love to see yours. Purse Diva, Ada Sally Styling, Justine Leconte. If you don't know about her, she's a fashion designer and she has this very fantastic, successful YouTube channel. Um, love her, check her out. I'll link all these people below. Kayla K, I I wanna see your video. And I'm gonna tag two guys. I don't know how comfortable or interested they would be in doing this, but I'm gonna tag you anyway because you both have a fantastic sense of style, in my opinion. Um, so I wanna see what you say. I hope you do these. So I wanna tag Frozen Luxury and I wanna tag Will McKayson. Um, I will link all those people below. I'm also going to put an Instagram and I'll tag all these people there so you'll see it because there's there's not a way to really tag other YouTubers in YouTube, is there? If there is, somebody let me know. Um, all right, that is the end. See, I'm still playing with my hair, getting it out of the way because it's in my way. I don't like it touching my face. Um, okay, that's it. See you guys later. I hope this was helpful. If you can relate to any of this, tell me your story below because I, I know I'm not the only one. Definitely. So, um, you know, talk below. Let's converse about it. All right. Have a fantastic day. Remember to like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.